Uh, latte with two sugars. Yeah, good. Um, we took a lot of confidence out of last week's game. Uh, we feel that in training, things are starting to come together a bit better and um, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's always good to, to look back and get some positive reinforcements from uh, past good times. So I'll, be, I'll probably go home and think about those goals and hopefully score a couple more this week. Um, I don't know if I can tell any of the stories, but yeah, we played uh, juniors together from like, I think, you know, as well a 13 year old, we played together and uh, back in Newcastle. Um, yeah, so we've known each other for a good 20 odd years and uh, obviously Clacker had a great career and, and went overseas and was unlucky with injury, but um, it's great to see Newcastle giving a young Overcastrian a chance. I guess uh, as soon as I was born and raised in Newcastle, well not born and raised, but pretty much. Uh, from six weeks old, I was living in Newcastle and grew up there and played all my junior football there and followed the teams there. And my dad played for KB United years and years ago in the early 80s. So I guess uh, I'm some sort of a trader, but um, you know, that's just the way things work out in football sometimes. And I guess, if you're not at the Mariners, I think everybody hates Hutch, so it's quite easy to uh, to hate him for the Jed supporters. Uh, uh, and you know he's, he loves the derby as well, and he loves to stir up the fans. So uh, I think it's quite easy for them to hate Hutch. Um, no, it's been pretty quiet with the Jets this week because uh, obviously they've had a lot of going on with Gary Van Engelen getting sacked and um, a new management appointment, but. Uh, Obviously, uh, me knowing Clacker, I've, uh, I also know Carl Dodd, the strength and conditioning coach there. I've played with him a few times in different clubs. and um, So I've dropped a couple of texts just letting them know that it's unfortunate that their first game in charge will be a, a loss. So, um, but apart from that, it's been pretty quiet, you know. It's uh, just business as usual. I suppose the derby for me is goes right back to when I was a kid. Um, my dad was a staunch evidence supporter, had been his whole life, and I started following Liverpool as a kid because of Craig Johnston, so that, that gutted him. He wasn't happy about that. Um, and so the nine, I guess the 86 and the 89 FA Cup finals were, were quite amusing for me. Uh, obviously Liverpool beating Everton in both of those. Um, and actually in 89, I think it was, my old, my old man went over to watch the game and. He actually came home with a Liverpool strip for me, even though it was uh, it was like sacrilege for him to buy that. But um, yeah, I look back to those days and, and the banter between my dad and myself, and um, yeah, it was always good times. Well, usually it used to be staying up late because uh, obviously the Premier League's on so late. But um, yeah, it was just the anticipation, and obviously as well as being uh, so young that uh, I got to stay up late to watch them because mum would normally make me go to bed, but for Liverpool Everton I was allowed to stay up. And it was just uh, just the rivalry of the friendly banter, it was always good and um, I guess just uh, having bragging rights for the for, until the next game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we've had, uh, everyone's written us off already this year, which is fine by us, it seems to happen every year. Um, yeah, we're, we're under no illusions, we're not playing at our best. Um, there's been massive changes at the club and it takes time for people to adjust. You've got new players, new, new head coach, new uh, coaching staff. So yeah, all that happens, it take, takes time to gel. Uh, we feel like we're starting to get there now in bits and patches and hopefully we can improve that over time. But to be sitting in third with a game in hand over second place, um, that if we can win that, we jump them into second place. For a team that's had all that upheaval and all that change, then you know we're quite confident that when we do hit our straps, then teams just have to start watching out for us again. The, fine, the mortgage breaking stuff is, um, obviously I went to China, I was unable to continue doing it while I was there, so I had a break of five or six months uh, off, and then when I came back it was Christmas time, so I sort of put that on the back burner for a little bit, and just when I come back I've decided to you know, put all my heart and soul back into the football and, and uh, try and get back to where we were last year. Um, so at the moment I'm just uh, spending a lot of time with my family, uh, I've got a three year old and a one year old son um, and, and spending time with my girlfriend and uh, try and get out in the surf whenever I can but that seems to be few and far between these days um, with not much time left on my hands once the kids are, kids are asking to be playing in the backyard every day so that's usually what I do.
No worries, mate. Too easy. <laughs>